Hey everyone, it's Chris, and today we're gonna to be talking about the three mistakes that sellers are making in our current market. This actually kind of applies to all markets in general, but I felt I've been observing here in the marketplace after conversations with new clients that there's some things that are just so easy to avoid, but that some people are unfortunately uh, making mistakes with. Okay, so mistake number one is going to be hiring a real estate agent that doesn't understand your needs. And although that sounds pretty basic, what I've observed is that in this marketplace, there's going to be some real estate agents that will provide a one size fits all uh, uh, recommendation for sellers. So I've heard time and time again with agents coming in and talking to sellers, suggesting that they they do this or do that. Maybe they underprice the home so they can get multiple offers, or maybe they offer some suggestion that isn't going to help the seller accomplish their goal. And you would think that a, an agent should be flexible with their marketing plan, but that's just not the case. So if you're a seller, interview other agents, or at least understand that if they, if it feels like a one size fit all process, then that might be a red flag that you want to avoid. All right, so mistake number two, I'm actually gonna go in kind of a different direction. This is for owners of properties. And when I say sellers is that I've actually had a couple of recent clients experience this where they're ready to sell, but unfortunately due to title issues, they've caused massive delays in them accomplishing their ultimate goal of getting that house sold. So what does that mean? Uh, two specific examples that I ran into recently where the sellers had taken the property out of the trust and they never put the house back into the trust. They have a living trust. By the way, if you don't have a living trust, reach out to me immediately and that way I can align, with, align you with an attorney to help you do that because you should have your house in a trust. Going back to it, my clients took the house out of the trust now it's time to sell, but due to there being a death in the family or their, their, the other owner had passed away, it's causing a massive delay and they're going to have to go through probate, which I'll do a video about in the future. We want to avoid probate. We want to avoid any unnecessary delays if possible. So reach out to me, have me check, I can check title for you very, very easy. It's a complimentary service that I can do. If you, even if you think you're, for, you're, you're positive, you know how title is set up, reach out to me and I'll double check it for you just to make sure. I don't care if it's something that you've done a couple years ago or 50 years ago, let's check title now. It's free and I'm happy to do it. All right, so mistake number three is going to be timing the market if you're a seller. So what do I mean by that? I mean that I'll have some clients who I'll, I'll sit down and talk with where they want to wait until the busy time of the year to put their house on the market. And right now we're still experiencing an extremely low amount of inventory, which means a uh, still a seller's market. So we still have tons of buyers out there looking for property. So why does that matter to you? It doesn't matter if it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, as of right now, we're still experiencing a fierce market. So if you're a seller, it may make sense to list your house now, as opposed to the good months in March, April, May, June, okay? So that's why you need to sit down with your trusted real estate advisor so you can map out what are your ultimate goals and what are you looking to accomplish? It might make sense to wait until the following, you know, uh, upcoming year, but it might not. So talk to your trusted real estate advisor and see if now makes more sense than waiting. So if you have any questions about your specific situation, reach out. All my contact information is below. I'd be happy to talk about your specific needs. Again, my name is Chris Cervantes. Thanks so much for watching and have a, have a good day.